How's it going, everybody? This is going to be a quick video update on the whole uh, pistol brace issue and the ATF issue that everybody's been really keeping their eyes on. As of today, December 23rd, 2020, we got some additional information, primarily being a new um, document from the ATF saying that they will be removing um, the guidance document and the notice and commenting section. So um, everything I'm going to be talking about in this video, I'll put a link to the details section. And I just wanted to read this to you guys real quick for those of you who don't want to read it for yourself. Essentially what this is, is it is um, being issued by the ATF and the action is a notice and withdraw. The summary is that the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, ATF, is announcing the withdrawal of a notice and request for comments entitled Objective Factors for Classifying Weapons with Stabilizing Braces that was published on December 18, 2020. So that was that notice document that everybody was really concerned about that we've talked about here on this channel. And if you want to watch that video, it's up here on this channel. Then there was a commenting period that was open. My last video, I called a lot of you guys to action to go and comment on that document, voice your opinion to the ATF. Well, now they're going to be withdrawing all of that. And when you look at this further, the supplemental information states that upon further consultation with the Department of Justice and the Office of the Deputy Attorney General, ATF is withdrawing pending further Department of Justice review, the notice and request for comments entitled objective factors for classifying weapons with stabilizing braces. That was published on December 18th, 2020. As explained in the notice, the proposed guidance was not a regulation. The notice informed and invited comment from the industry and public on a proposed guidance prior to issuing a final guidance document. The withdrawal of the guidance does not change any law, regulation, or other legal binding requirements. So again, this is something all of us have been really keeping our eyes on. Um, I know a lot of people are taking this as a win. We got to see how this develops. We don't know uh, who knows what they're going to do after this. But I just want to let you guys know that we did get some additional information in this document. I'll put a link to it down in the details section, like I mentioned. Take a read for yourself. And um, like I said um, in my last video, you have to make your voices known. Commenting and stuff like that may have persuaded them to do this here. We don't know. And it's definitely something we're going to be keeping our eyes on going forward. Um, but as of right now, that's where we stand here with the ATF and the whole stabilizing pistol brace issue. So as always, thanks you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and never forget this nation was built by arm scholars and this nation will be maintained by arm scholars.